It's something you dream of from the time you're a child. The chance to walk on the world stage and become the somebody almost nobody becomes. A legend. Obtaining fame has become the principal achievement in this so-called American dream. But for me, today, my dream has become a nightmare. The question is, will I stay asleep in the comfort of my dark fantasy? Or will I be awoken by the raven of reality? For all of our lives, we walk in unison, heading for somewhere, but hardly ever arriving at our ultimate destinations. Did my trip stop? Am I where I'm supposed to be? Maybe I've arrived, deeply saddened by my stage. Or am I daunted by the second leg of my flight, scared of the height and troubled by the potential turbulence it could provide? Today, I stand along the many. Tomorrow could grant acceptance by the gifted, the loved, and the worshipped. It's amazing how little is said by millions of the educated, and how much can be communicated by the six strings on a guitar. They speak in tongues understood by the masses, and can transport the lost into realms of understanding, escaping their painful humanistic depravity. I only wish I could hear what they hear. Understand the gift of my fingers and accept my place among the illuminated and become what I'll never become, a fan. Instead, my clarity has been clouded by mystic agents of sadness. Narcotics have numbed me for way too long. Instead, I want to escape from the shackles of imaginary glee and inject my system with the pains of reality. It's time to cross over. Live in the now. And for the first time, feel. I've walked in their presence before. Was I attracted to their connection? Or was it a collision course for rejection by a woman of darkness? <laughs> no. My path has always been chosen for me. A dirty sidewalk of broken dreams and drive-by love. Some sit in scum-ridden places and are appreciated by the homeless, while others are adorned the titles of the Great Pyramids and worshipped by the hidden and the secret. Damn, what am I doing here? I'm sounding like a prophet, a poet. I'm a walking contradiction. I walk along the many and... Am I repeating myself? Yeah, well, sort of. Am I here? Does anybody even see me? Who lives inside of these walls? Do they like me? <laughs> me, me, me. I need to stop this self-pity and get into my own gig. My agent thinks tonight could be the ultimate triumph. My final destination, my big encore. Were they watching? Do they know what I'm about to do? I need to practice. I need to be in tune. I need to know my songs. I, I 
need to make sure that I can continue to remember who I am. I've heard of baptism by fire, but into what religion could I be christened? Music has always been equally abused by the ritualistic natures of both the light and the dark. Humanists, well, I mean the really Satanists who have ruled the rock world for many years. And the scriptured tattlers have wrote many poems of fiction since man first pounced on a drum. What does it all mean? Would I do it? Would I walk in and take my place among the statues of the others? The cold wind is blowing me away. I'm not feeling welcomed by the building. I need to start walking, running from my destiny. The raven is following me. The building is open, but my heart is no more. I decided to live on the other side. The safe, the adorned, and the empty. I would never be blinded by the light, but comfortable in its shadows. Standing alone among the built, the taller, the pillars, the pillars of others whose dreams weren't my own. My destination was always predetermined. I was never destined to be anything more than what I am, or was. My destination was always predetermined. I'm that guy you see walking in the streets with the guitar over his shoulder. I'm that guy who sings songs that you've never heard. I'm that guy who you pity on a rainy day. I'm that guy who has never had a woman's touch. I'm that guy who gives a quarter to a bow and then gives directions to a tourist. I'm an open heart everybody seems to step on. I'm the subject of everyone's guilt. But I'm that guy who walks the straight and narrow. I'm that guy who wishes for peace but prays for war. And because that's what life really is. We fight for everything. It's just the way it is. And now I realize where I belong, who I am, and what I'm going to do. I'll never be taller than that building. I'll never play better than Hendrix. I'll never be married to India Allen. I'll never be recorded by a major label. Instead, I'm labeled as a nobody. I knew that stage wasn't for me. I knew it wasn't right. I'm not that guy. I'm just who I am. A flightless bird, a speck of dirt in a filthy world. If you knew for sure that your death wouldn't affect one single person, then is your life even worth living? You're a story not worth telling. A dark, deviant raven forevermore.